Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop one -stop shop to learn all the technologies. As part of this video, I will try to show you how to set up Spark on Mac. Okay, so uh, we have seen what are the available options, uh, options as part of the earlier video. In this video, we will see how to set up Spark on Mac. We will, these are the steps you need to follow. First, you need to download Spark binaries um, from uh, um, the website uh, available, uh, uh, public websites available. Uh, typically, uh, the uh, you will be downloading a tarball, and uh, the tarball will be zipped. Hence, we have to untar and unzip using tar command if you are using Mac. And then you can copy the created directory after uh, untaring and unzipping it uh, into the location you want. And then we have it's better to create the soft link so that in case if we upgrade, we can uh, change the soft links and. Uh, uh, keep working on the upgraded um, uh, versions of Spark. That being said, to download, you you just say Spark download in Google and hit enter, or you can actually di directly go to spark.apache.org/downloads.html. But I prefer to use Google because they might change anytime. It, it is unlikely to change, but they can change uh, anytime these links. So it's better to always rely on Google uh, to get the latest uh, download link. And here, by default, it, it will select the latest one, okay? And if you click on this directly, it will download the latest one. But if you want to go to the earlier versions, 2.0.0 is just released and it is primarily beta. It's, um, it's not uh, production yet, no one is using production. So at this time, it's be still better to use uh, 1.6x, which is the latest version before 2. Um, and 2 have significant differences between 1.6 and uh, uh, 2. So that, uh, for that reason, as of now, it's better to explore uh, 1.6. You can expand this and choose the latest stable release, release before 2, uh, as of now. And then, depending upon the Hadoop you have, if you have Hadoop, at all depending upon the version of Hadoop you have you have to choose the appropriate one but here I am only showing how to set up the spark uh, so I will just use pre-built for Hadoop 2.6 which is the latest one and if you want to change a mirror you can uh, use this go to select Apache mirror and you can change it but I will leave it as direct download and then click on this URL and then it will start downloading the file it is 265 MB file. It will take some time to download. I have already downloaded it. So I'm canceling it. And uh, let me see if I have. So it is already canceled. I have not only can, uh, downloaded, but I have also copied the tarball into, the, into my home directory. So I'm using Mac and this is my home directory, which is slash user slash dgadiraju. By default, when you actually download using the browser, unless you change the default settings in Mac, it will go to this URL, okay? Then you can actually, if you have the, uh, um, if you have the, uh, down, if you have downloaded it successfully, you can run mv command uh, to, um, so you can go to the downloads directory and then you can run this command, mv command to move the tarball which is downloaded into the home directory. Tilda represents home directory in Linux based terminals. So you can actually use this one. You can follow the same steps even for Linux. So these steps are applicable for both Mac as well as Linux. Okay. Uh, that being said, I have already copied. So I am now going to my home directory cd tilde and you can see I am in slash user slash dgadiraju and here we can see there is a uh, tarball here which I have moved from downloads to here. This one we can actually untar and unzip in one shot by giving tar xzf command x for extract which is to untar, z for unzip uh, because it is zipped file you can see it is tgz if it is not zipped the tarball will have tar extension but this is zipped tar that's why it has TG, tgz okay. So tar x, x for uh, extract from the tarball or unpackage from the tarball, z for unzip 
and then f is uh, i think for uh, extract all the files uh, f means probably files i am not 100% sure and then you can give the um, downloaded uh, uh, zip tab uh, as the parameter and then it will create a directory okay you can see the directory is created earlier you there is no directory when i actually search for spark star now i can see the directory here so now i will try to create a soft link to this the way you can create the soft link is you give the directory and then you give the uh, uh, the soft link name so i want to name it as spark and hit enter the reason why we we should give this is um, in case if you upgrade to the later, uh, next version you can just unlink the uh, soft link to the prior version and link it to the new version and you don't need to make any modifications to your code okay wherever you are trying to run uh, spark commands as part of uh, some scheduler or something you don't need to worry about uh, your code if it is pointing to um, uh, uh, pointing to the uh, uh, the directory which have the uh, spark commands okay you will understand that in a moment after doing this you can open the dot profile file okay you should be in home directory uh, you should be in uh, home directory so you, uh, in home directory there will be a dot profile file where you can set the um, uh, path environment variable so that you can access spark from anywhere so i am setting up the environment variables here i will be creating one environment variable a new environment variable and also i will be appending um, uh, and the spark path uh, spark bin path to the path environment variable okay so export spark home okay and it is under users digari raju and spark here i am giving the soft link path okay if i do, uh, if i don't create the soft link if i use the actual directory in future if uh, i upgraded it i have to go and modify this dot profile file in the similar lines wherever you schedule the jobs with the complete path to your um, uh, your uh, spark commands in the bin you have to um, uh, modify those things if you do not create the soft link so creating the soft link is very very important uh, make the habit of that uh, that is very typical in the uh, work environments it is one of the basic way of doing that and, do, and managing the software and then export path so if i have to run commands such as spark shell pyspark etc from anywhere i have to give the path of bin okay so here already there is some uh, values in path so we have to append to it so that's why i'm giving dollar path which will be uh, um, uh, which will be persist uh, which which will uh, be concatenating the new path to the existing one if you don't give this then other commands will not work it is very important to concatenate to the existing uh, path and dollar path actually represents the current value of the path variable and in this now i can use spark underscore home to represent the slash users dgadraju spark okay and then bin this is one thing which i want to add and the another thing is spark underscore home s bin bin is more important than s bin so make sure you at least add dollar spark home slash bin and then escape and save it and you should run so that the environment variable is available in this session if you restart it the profile file will be executed uh, whenever you restart the session um, but for the current session you just have to run dot profile like this so this dot is from the current directory execute this one okay so tilde is home directory slash dot profile is the file which is in tilde um, but if we restart the sessions automatically the uh, the dot profile script will be executed and uh, those environment variables will be available to you for example i will not run now but i will uh, run command 
called echo dollar path okay here you can see there is no spark related paths here okay and also if i say echo dollar spark home it is empty now if i run the script dot space dollar so tilde slash dot profile and hit enter and then if i see echo path you can see my spark bin and also spark has been as part of the path variable if i don't append these things to dollar path you will be only seeing those things these two things and other programs will not work um, and you have to give explicit path so by defining the path variable we don't need to give the explicit path we can give the commands directly as long as and the bin directories are added to the path okay i hope it is clear now if i say echo dollar spark underscore home you can see slash user slash regather as you slash spark is added to that and if if i want to use in some other areas i can use this environment variable again this is optional either you can give hard coded path like this as part of your uh, uh, path variable or you can create environment variable for spark home and then use that as part of the path so this is the one which we have given so i'm just uh, revisiting again we have created an environment variable called spark home and then we have used spark home to to pass the spark bin uh, and append it to the path similarly as bin as bin will have the scripts which we might have to execute uh, sometime later that being said now let us validate that whether we can uh, uh, run any scripts or not okay so for that let me uh, identify a file using which i can validate uh, the file is dot profile itself i want to uh, see whether i will be able to read dot profile using uh, a, a spark based application it's a simple application don't worry about it if you don't uh, do not understand much but make sure you run it so that you you can validate Um, that it is set up properly on your mac okay so the command to launch a spark uh, one of the commands is spark hyphen shell it will launch the spark in scala context okay so you can use a scala programming constructs to actually validate uh, uh, your spark based applications um, by running spark hyphen shell so when you run spark hyphen shell it will launch spark in scala context and you can give scala based commands to to run spark apis that being said there is a spark context object called sc uh, somewhere here it will tell spark context available as sc so we can give this name if if it is successfully deployed if there are no errors it is very important for you to go back and see if there are any errors and exceptions there are few warnings in this case that is fine Um, uh, and as there are no errors we can directly use uh, this uh, sc dot text file is a function so sc is nothing but a spark context object you can just type sc and hit enter it will give the details it is uh, it is object of type spark context so sc dot text file and here either you can give file colon slash 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 users so my uh, file colon slash slash is to say that i want to read the local files uh, so it's just a protocol like http colon slash slash and this is the actual path which, which we are uh, passing uh, from local file system which is users digadi raju dot profile okay there is a file under that which we have up updated and hit enter okay now uh, you can see that there are no exceptions but to validate you have to run either a count command so it is not working so there is some issue the issue is it is saying uh, the dot profile file does not exist let me see let me remove this and try to run it so i think it is not able to read the, the hidden files so let me create create a new file which is not hidden okay lsltr let me read this one uh, uh, okay vi data dot txt 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव ओके ना आई एम लॉन्चिंग स्पार्क शेल सो ना आई एम रनिंग हियर इट इज डेटा डॉट टी एक्स टी सो इन यूर डेवलपमेंट एनवायरमेंट विच यू सेटअप ऑन यूर पी सी बै डिफाट इट विल ट्राई टू एक्सेस द लोकल फैल सिस्टम नव यू कैन सी इट वर्क ओके Uh, so you can either directly give the fully qualified path or relative path, whatever it is, uh, like this. So the data dot txt is in my home directory, and I have launched Spark shell from my home directory. So I can also say like this also, and th this is the absolute path, and this is relative path. But if you have Spark integrated with Hadoop or some other uh, underlying file system. the default file system might be different in that sense to access the local file system you have to use file protocol like this and here you can say when you use file protocol you have to always give the uh, absolute path and hit enter it works fine okay you can also say dot for each println do not worry much about uh, uh, uh about the syntax and if you could not understand uh, these commands uh, we will explore all these things in detail as part of the uh, later uh, uh, topics but for now uh, the main emphasis is on setting up the environment and validating that our environment is set up properly so we, we have validated spark is set up here and we have um, validated using scala we will try to use python also let's see if it works py spark is the command to launch uh, spark in python context it seems to be launch uh, it, it has launched successfully now we can use the same command so this command is similar in both python and uh, uh, scala but uh, um, there are lot of differences also which you will understand little bit later you can see python also it is working fine there are five records in this if you want to preview the data you have to use a script like this for i in sc dot text file path dot for each println and hit enter sorry not dot and also not for each here for each will not work for each is scala based construct here you have to give column space then print of i and hit enter okay here you have to say dot collect and hit enter now you can see the data i will add these code snippets also as part of uh, our uh, 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 as part of my blog so here is here is the code snippets in my blog you can visit here and also when you copy python you have to make sure that you have in, uh, indented the um, uh, uh, indent for the scope unless you indent this print command with the two spaces or tab it will not work okay so let me validate to make sure that it is working and then we will wrap up this session it it, it works fine if you don't indent it it will fail that being said i hope you are enjoying the content if you like it or if you don't like it please provide the feedback uh, if i miss anything i will try to cover those things and then you can give the rating if you like it absolutely please give me the uh, full rating so, uh, and also please provide the feedback wherever uh, i lack something so that i can improve as part of my future uh, courses or future uh, topics that being said thank you bye